Have you noticed every television preacher before they get off the air, they never leave without asking you for money? That's right. Every last one of them. We are the only program that you have seen. They never ask you for a diet. That's right. Never. That's right. And it isn't because we're rich. Amen. We ain't rich. No. Rich men don't come in a place like this. No, no. no rich men get a stadium. That's right. That's Don't right. you know when TDJ's come in town, most time he's paid money in advance. Oh, yeah. Before he come, Amen. 50 and 70 and 60 thousand dollars. That's right. And then get a cut off the tickets at the door. That's right. And then get the cut from the offering. The offering. You sitting there, ooh, that's God man. He's a religious carpet bagger. That's right. You should never see the church after the offering is raised. The preacher come back and say, wait a minute, thanks. <laughs> Holy Ghost just talked to me and told me we ain't got enough. Right. And the Lord told me to tell you that we got another thousand dollars in the house. That's right. And the Lord told me to tell you that if we get that thousand dollars, you would get your blessing 100 fold, you liar. Right. Amen. But because you want something from God so bad, you, well... <laughs> And then he ride away with that limousine leaving happily ever after. That's right. <laughs> Eating his steak. That's right. Yeah. His caviar. Amen. And drinking his wine. That's right. And all you left with is beans and cornbread. That's right. I didn't sit up all night and wrote down a sermon. Oh, no. This is my topic. <laughs> shoo shoo baby. Amen. <laughs> You know how the Reverend do in your churches? Amen. You've seen the entertainers. Amen. I want to show them, up. show them up. So when you go back to the church, now you can look at them from a different light. That's right. He get up there, I want to use, he don't even use the voice that God gave him. Ah. <laughs> and oh, you get a twitch. Amen. I want to use, <laughs> I, for my check. Ah, shoo shoo. <laughs> baby. That's right. That's right. Ah, you can't understand me. Don't shoo, baby. What's all that for? That's right. That's right. It is entertainment used to excite and work on your emotions so he know the happier you become, the more money he can steal. That's right. That's right. But God's man. Amen. The scripture said, Pastor Paul said, when he come, I didn't come with excellency of men wisdom. That's right. He said, I come with great plainness of speech. Then said he, though I be rude in speech, but yet not in knowledge. That's right. I know a lot of our speech sound harsh, raw, direct, rough. It makes some folks say, oh, did he say that? <laughs> Ooh, I didn't know if I could say that in church. That's right. Oh, my other God, look at what he said. Is it the truth? Yeah. Then you might as well accept the truth. That's right. That's right. In other words, God is letting you know, Chester, it ain't no shortcuts to him. No, no. It's his way or go to hell. That's it. Did you hear me, Chester? That's right. It's God's way or go to hell for Chester. That's right. It's God's way. God's way. Or hell. That's right. That's it. Preachers ain't doing a thing for you down here. No. But playing with your wallet. That's right. That's why it's thinner and thinner. That's right. And you poor and poor. Amen. And all they keep giving you blessing plan. And you still waiting. That's right. Come back next week hoping. No plan. Still waiting. Have you realized you've been duped? As one man said, you've been bamboozled. That's right. You've been took. That's right. Have you noticed every television preacher before they get off the air, they never leave without asking you for money? That's right. Every last one of them. Amen. We are the only program that you have seen. They never ask you for a diet. That's right. Never. That's right. And it isn't because we're rich. Amen. We ain't rich. No. Rich men don't come in a place like this. No, no. That's rich men get a stadium. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's don't right. you know when TDJ's come in town, most time he's paid money in advance. Oh, yeah. Before he come. Amen. 
50 and 70 and 60 thousand dollars. That's right. And then get a cut off the tickets at the door. That's right. And then get the cut from the offering. The offering. You sitting there, ooh, that's God man. He's a religious carpet bagger. That's right. That's right. He's a carpet bagger. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. When I look at the Bible, Go ahead. the Bible says, come without money right. and without price. That's Don't right. misunderstand me. Yes, it takes money to run anything, but I ain't got that lie to get it out of you. That's right. $10 prayer line, $30 prayer line, $40 prayer line. Oh, false prophets come along with these miracle ink pens. That's right. Yes, they will. Miracle water. That's right. Go order a bottle, a, bun, a carton of bottles from a factory. Mm -hmm. Go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Want to fill those bottles up quick. Yeah. They go to the tub, go to the sink, and to the toilet. <laughs> Scooping. Be with you. That's right. And you walking around, your child sick unto death. Yeah. Let me show you how dangerous these liars are. Mm -hmm. They give you false hope and false concepts. That's right. You get into a very sincere predicament, and all you got is toilet water. That's it. Throwing it on your child that's dying. That's right. Because of the confidence you got in some liar. That's right. And I should be quiet. Hello. And it'd be a cold day in hell first. Amen. I'd never be quiet. That's right. That's right. Never. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Never be quiet. Never. That's right. Oh, yeah. so you shouldn't be sick of these preachers. Go ahead. You go there every week and see the filth. That's right. And so that you will feel religious. Amen. A lot of you won't leave the church you in because your relatives go there. That's right. That's your right. friends go there. That's right. And you got this mentality, I don't want to hurt my friends. When you die, your friend ain't dying with you. No, no. When God come for you, he coming for you. For you. That's right. He ain't going to skip you and get your daughter. He going to come for you. That's right. Jesus said, look up for your redemption, draw nigh. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. Listen. Whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation. Demetrius called the men together who had the same skill he had and said, Sirs, ye know sirs, this sirs, sirs. Amen. Do you know that by our business, by our skill, we have our wealth. What? Sirs, ye know that by this craft. Brothers and sisters, do you know through the deeds of false prophets, they got their wealth? That's, their wealth. That's right. Do you know through the constant method of begging? That's right, That's the Bible talk about offering, the Bible talk about tithing, the Bible talk about sacrifice offering. Mm -hmm. If a church raises an offering, mm -hmm. you should never see the church after the offering is raised, mm -hmm. the preacher come back and say, wait a minute, thanks. <laughs> Holy Ghost just talked to me and told me we ain't got enough. And the Lord told me to tell you that we got another thousand dollars in the house. That's right. And the Lord told me to tell you that if we get that thousand dollars, you would get your blessing 100 fold, you liar. liar. Amen. But because you want something from God so bad, you, well. <laughs> and then he ride away with that limousine leaving happily ever after. That's right. <laughs> Eating his steak, That's right. yeah. his caviar, Amen. and drinking his wine, That's and all you left with is beans and cornbread. That's right. That's right. Why these liars can have people right among them that need to eat, That's right. and they'll walk by you and won't even drop a dime in your lap. That's right. That's right. You mean to tell me I know a person is hungry? Following me, mm -hmm. and I not do nothing, nothing. I'll be less than a human being. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. But what they tell you, believe. Mm -hmm. Be warmed and filled. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Listen at the scriptures. In James chapter 2. You see the nature of a false prophet is in the book. That's right. Come on, son. James chapter 2 and begin at verse 15. This is, what, this is the way these preachers do you. If a brother or a sister. If a brother or a sister. Be naked. Don't have no clothes. And destitute of daily food. Don't have nothing to eat daily. And one of you say unto them. And one of you said to them. Depart in peace. Depart in peace. Be ye warmed and filled. That's what the preachers tell you. That's right. Yeah, you don't have no clothes. That's right. You have no food. Mm -hmm. The preacher says, just keep believing. Right. God bless you. There's a pie in That's the right. sky. It's on its way down. That's right. Well, 
you still wait. Amen. You know, by that time, you ain't got no clothes. That's right. That's right. You ain't got no food. That's right. Then the preacher should be concerned enough for you. That's true. Well, he should be able to go in his own pocket. That's right. And give you, put some clothes on your back, mm -hmm. food in your mouth, Amen. and then not look for nothing in return. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. But this is what they do instead. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food. Yes. And one of you say unto them, depart in peace. Depart in peace. Be warmed and filled. Now here, <laughs> listen man, it's 20 below zero. Amen. And I'm shaking. Mm -hmm. Well, brother, I need a coat. I'm having a hard time. I need a coat. Be warm. Be warm. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They, they, really, they really get this stern, sincere Christian look. Be warm. Holy Ghost told me to tell you, be warm. Holy Ghost told me to tell you, just believe. You'll be all right. That's right. Okay, well, the Holy Ghost may have told you that, but right now I need a coat. That's right. See? Amen. And a real brother, if I possess more than one coat, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you and put a coat on you. That's right. That's right. And I'm not going to put a coat on you where the sleeves is already hanging off. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Talk this Christian love. These are Christian liars. Right. Amen. Listen. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily naked food. Naked and destitute of daily food. And one of you say unto them. One of you said to them. Depart in peace. You leaving. Peace be unto you. Mm. Peace be unto you. That's right. I know you ain't eight in seven days, but peace be unto you. That's right. God fed the prophet with a raven. That's right. You send angels food from heaven. Amen. He can do the same for you. Amen. You're going on day eight now. <laughs> no, no bird visits you. And the birds you do see, they eating. That's right. Amen. That's right. Is that right? That's right. I wouldn't even tolerate such conduct. No. It isn't a brother or sister can follow me in hungry and I know it, know it. Right. and not do nothing about it. That's right. I'm not going to come into your house and say, let's have prayer. That's I right. know you need prayer, but you also need food. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Come on, son. And one of you say unto them, depart in peace. Depart in peace. Be ye warmed and filled. Be ye warm and filled. Notwithstanding, ye give them not those things. But yet you won't give them the things. Which are needful to the body. That is needful to the body. What doeth it profit? What, what do a profit? That's right. What help have you done? I'm not talking about someone who's trying to take advantage of God's people. No. But you have many of those too. That's right. Who make the church out of a bank. Amen. Give them a borrow, 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 borrow. That's right. But when you borrow, now you're falling to another scripture. That's right. That says, oh, no man. No man. And if it says, oh, no man, you got to pay back what you done borrow. That's right. Huh? That's right. You understand? Amen. Yes, sir. Come on, son. Go back to it.